Christmas Day for a lot of businesses is a slower day, not here at the National Constitution Center. Things are winding down right now, but it had been busy all day with free admission. A lot of people came in for a chance to see history come to life. I succeeded in some things in my life, but I'm afraid I failed in others. A spirited conversation. We have a goal, unlike any country that's come before us. With, well, a spirit. President Thomas Jefferson, along with Abraham Lincoln. Did you ever think you'd have your own day, President's Day? Well, now, as far as I'm concerned, every day is President's Day. The National Constitution Center might say the same because this is one of their busiest days. It's a great day to have this like lively uh, event that people can come and, and learn about our nation's history. I learned about Abraham Lincoln and some of the other presidents. The day is filled with activities from creating campaign posters <laughs> to competing in a political costume contest. Everything from George Washington, we have a Dr. Jill Biden this year. And that's 10-year-old Chloe O'Donnell. Years ago, like, like, girls weren't even allowed to do, like, much. They were just housewives. But now they can, like, do a lot. Like, they can wear pants. They used to only be able to, like, wear dresses or skirts or... Connecting her life today to years past, which is exactly the goal here. To have history kind of come alive so that they know that these aren't just figures from the past that you find in books. I went hiking in the Adirondacks with my family. A conversation with the presidential well, reenactors we... brings to mind one key fact about this President's Day. Well, we didn't pay much attention to the popular vote. Mm. It's happening during an election year. We're certainly not the only democracy in the world, but um, I think we're the most famous. The National Constitution Center hopes days like today bring forth a love of civics. It's cool. By bringing history to life. Anything we can do to kind of ignite that spark and that love of history, that's what we like to do here. Boy, we are so lucky to have this in our own backyard. Now, President's Day festivities wrapping up, but there's still a lot to explore here at the National Constitution Center. They've got ongoing exhibitions to celebrate Black History Month, and they're also already gearing up for Women's History Month. At the National Constitution Center, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News.